I am here to show you some quick tips on adapting um, your existing classroom materials to Blackboard and also powering up your Blackboard exponentially. So imagine you are, I mean, we're probably all in this situation. You have these materials that you use in your normal class, you know, something like a PowerPoint to, to give a slide lecture to your students. This is one from my drawing class that I always show. Um, it's about Giacometti and Alice Neal and their drawing practice. Um, I just love it. Now I can get this on the Blackboard by uploading it into media and creating a link that students can download, which is laborious and gives creates a, a ton of steps. But what I really want is just for the PowerPoint to play in Blackboard and for the students to review it. And I want the least steps possible. Um, so I have figured that out and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, so I'll take my PowerPoint and then I upload it to Google Drive. Then I have um, my PowerPoint here. It's a PowerPoint file on Google Drive. And then I just simply open it, um, open it in Google Slides. Um, now this will take a minute to convert and it's in Google Slides, which is the web-based PowerPoint. So it is really, really easy um, for me to grab the embed code and just put it directly into Blackboard with only one click. Um, so here's how I do it. One or two clicks. Um, all right, I go file, and then I have to publish it to the web, um, but I don't think that's too risky. Um, then I just grab this embed code. Um, I click it, I have all of it, command C for copy. Now I go to Blackboard and um, I'm building my content for the week. Um, I add a new item. I'll call this uh, Drawing Inspiration Week 4. Um, now, as I said, there's all these tools, presentations, um, media and stuff that you can do, um, but the, they take too many steps and sometimes they're pretty slow. So um, instead of those, and by the way, if you can't see this whole menu, um, just pop down this arrow. Um, so instead of those, I just use HTML and I just use embed codes um, for existing tools that I already use, like Google Slides. All right, now where Blackboard is kind of restrictive, um, for instance, it won't let you, it won't let you add a link without identifying whether the link is going to take you outside of Blackboard, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's restrictive in normal in in uh, normal things that we're used to, and um, it does offer a lot of tools in these mashups and stuff. Um, but um, I find it way way easier to just. Um, use HTML because Blackboard for some reason is totally unrestricted in its HTML. You could just build a web page here. So you use HTML instead and then just copy that embed, embed code, update it, and then submit. And then let's see how it looks on the other end for students. Um, so there is my normal slideshow. Um, and I promise you that is the fastest method that you will have for embedding a PowerPoint in Blackboard. Um, now, what else can we do with this technique? Well, um, embed code is universal throughout the internet. So um, let's say that you are a music professor and, um, and you work on, uh, you teach the cello or something and you have a profile on Bandcamp. Well, you can just go to Bandcamp. Um, let's say this is my profile page on Bandcamp and I can just click that same embed code um, I'll choose what I want the embed to look like and then I will um, copy it and then go back to Blackboard and ignore all of this and just work in HTML um, and add my embed there. Cool. Um, now I'm going to submit it to see what it looks like on the front end. Doopy doop. Drawing inspiration and here is my embed from Bandcamp. Super cool. It works great, right? Um, now, if you are, you know, if you're teaching in the modern era, there's probably other things that you rely on um, as online teaching tools. Basically, anything that you find that's an online teaching tool will have an embed output that you can use in this exact same way. So I'll just go over to kind of a common one. This is called Satori. Um, and it's really nice. It just lets you make these timelines and you can assign them to students and share them and build them collaboratively in your class. So if you want to embed a Satori, um, you can just share it. 
um, grab that same embed code. And you could never do this normally in Blackboard, um, but using the HTML interface, um, it's really easy. All right, so edit, and then I will, uh, then I'll go back to my HTML box. And then note also you can use Blackboard as you normally would, like you can still type in this field, you can add whatever text you want to, but using HTML and embed codes, um, you basically um, are totally free and not bounded by the tools that they offer. Um, all right, so here I have my slide presentation. Then I follow that with my playlist. Then I have my cool Satori timeline um, that I can have students review. And then one other thing, so I'm just having fun with this and knowing that I can build whatever I want despite whatever media tools that Blackboard offers. Um, so one other thing that I just thought of, I haven't made this yet, but um, if you make a Google form, um, so if you go to Google and then you make a form, you have this option in the settings to make it a quiz and to auto score it. So, um, so yeah, you guessed it. You can build quizzes in Google and then you can embed them and they will be auto scored um, in your Google account for you to review how students did. So it, this is kind of a cool um, little interface. It works great. Um, it's really easy and you manage it through your Google account. Um, the embed code is here and um, you just copy it. And then the only other thing to check, um, which I haven't yet, so here's my HTML. Um, I'm adding my Google quiz and then I update it and submit. And then I will check the, um, so I see all my embeds, all this media from all around the web, stuff that I normally, you know, could never use in Blackboard. And then here, here is my Google quiz and you can see I can fill it out and you can set the scores on Google quiz as well. So you could give students, um, you know, uh, like a multiple choice thing here if you wanted to and Google quizzes would automatically score them. Um, now I'm still learning the, I know there's a Blackboard quizzing interface in here um, and I am still learning it, but um, I thought that's a nice streamlined um, alternative um, because Google quizzes work really well too. And I thought it was cool that even though when you look at that array of Blackboard stuff, it's cool to know that any tool you find on the internet, um, you can place into Blackboard and use for your class. And any PowerPoint that you made for presenting in class, um, you can get it instantly on Blackboard. Um, in this way instead of futzing around with uploading and downloading media and that sort of thing. Um, so I hope you're staying safe and I just wanted to share this with you guys um, because I have been loving it and it has really um, sped up my ability to build content for my own classes. So, um, so take care and I will see you around. Have a great weekend everybody.